Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, <laughs> I'll address the elephant in the room. Yes, my hair is orange. <laughs> and we'll leave it there. Um, so this video is vintage stuff I have bought during lockdown. So I have been buying most things secondhand. So seeing as we're not allowed to go to shops, I've been on the old eBay. So normally myself and my husband spend quite a lot of time going to places like Hastings, which is a town that's local to us. And there are lots of, uh, I want to call them antique shops, but let's be realistic, they're junk shops, okay? And we love a bit of a rummage through those shops. And um, I'm not one for a, you know, clean lines aesthetic. My house is, um, I'm surrounded by stuff that I love and I don't care, but we do have frequent clear outs. It's a small house. We don't have, um, we do have a loft. We have not boarded the loft, so we haven't got stuff in the loft. So this is stuff that I've bought during uh, lockdown and all of it is secondhand vintage stuff. And I'll explain what they are and why I bought them, like the, the, the mentality behind it. Crikey, my hair, it doesn't look this orange in real life, I promise you. <laughs> it's, it's orange, okay? This was the plan. I meant to go orange, not orange, but ginger. Anyway, hey, I was going for call the midwife Patsy Red. We're we're getting there, right? So, uh, during the start of lockdown, um, we had like a relief period, and I was able to go and visit my mum, and we went to a little market down where my mum lives in Emsworth, and I bought some pots, some pans, and bits and bobs. But my favourite thing, it was like two pound fifty, was this coronation. I think it's a vase and I use it on my desk as a pencil pot essentially and I love it because I'm obsessed with all things royal I'm fascinated by the British monarchy um love them or loathe them I love them I love the queen um I think she's fascinating dedicating your life to like serve your country is something that I couldn't do like she's amazing and I don't think Britain will ever be, or England will ever be the same again once we don't have the Queen anymore. That'll be a sad day and I will cry. Um, I love this. I think it's just so nice. It's obviously mass produced. It was mass produced for its time. It's manufactured. Uh, everybody and their, you know, cousins probably had one. But the point is, this is no longer going to be in a landfill as long as I'm alive. This is something that I find aesthetically pleasing. So I bought this. I was going to use it as a toothbrush pot. But I decided that it was too nice to use as a toothbrush pot. So this lives on my desk and all my pens and my pencil case actually sits inside that. What I can't show you is my desk. That was one of the other things that I bought during lockdown off of Facebook Marketplace. It was £25. It just needed some screws tightening up and a good scrub. And it is an antique bureau that opens up with a leather topper. Love it. I'm sitting at it right now. And when I'm not working, I can just fold it all away. It's glorious. Other things that I got really interested in is um, makeup. I've always been into makeup, but buying compacts that you can refill. And I did a couple of videos on refilling some compacts. So I've got, this is the first one I bought. And these were like £3.50, £4, £5. You know, these are not things that are expensive and they're beautiful and you can put your makeup in them. So there's this one here. It's not pristine, but it's meant to be used. And because it isn't pristine, straight in the handbag, no worries. This set is pristine. The tin on the outside is yellowed over time. It's a metal tin and inside it's got uh, two items. It's got a compact and it's got an atomizer as well. This was like five pounds. So brand spanking new, never used, beautiful cut glass with matching atomizer. So I've got makeup in there and I've filled this with my perfume. Just awesome, love it. Haven't taken that out yet um, because this one is still my go-to compact. So that's my makeup type stuff that I've bought. I'm just gonna set that aside so I don't show you double. Other makeup stuff that I bought, initially I bought a Lip View clip-on because I didn't realize you could buy refillable ones and this clips to a lipstick and it's got a little mirror and it just opens and you've got the mirror there, which is really cute. This was like two pound. So, you know, none of this stuff is expensive. I haven't been on like massive shopping. Well, I have been on shopping sprees, spent a load of money, but you know, it's not like I've spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds. Um, I've got this other lipstick as well. I did a video on how to refill this. It's a mechanical spring loaded 
and I've filled it with one of my favourite lipsticks. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this lipstick. Now my hair is so red because it makes me look a bit odd, but I still love this lipstick. I have another one of these that needs to be refilled and it's pristine. It's never been used and this was like £4. It's got a mother of pearl front. It doesn't pop as well as the other one. It still pops. Um, I had to do a bit of repairs to this. I got a screwdriver out, did some repairs. But the inside of it, this is literally brand spanking new. Never been used. So I'm going to put a lipstick in here when I've got a new go-to lipstick. So I've got these two. This is a, a lighter pink. I might put a bright red in here. Um, a calendar, because I bought this beautiful desk that I'm sitting at. I wanted to get a perpetual calendar. So I've been looking at uh, vintage desk equipment. I just really like stuff that just is being used, that's been loved, that no one loves anymore and I want to give it another home. So I've got this amazing perpetual calendar and it's got the Channel Islands on it. So this is Guernsey. On the other side is Jersey. So when I flip it over tomorrow, it'll be the island of Jersey. Uh, I love this so much. It's just, you flip it over every day and you've got your date. I like having my calendar on my desk and it's just it's adorable i love it and it just the ritual of turning over the calendar in the morning i love it um okay so while i mentioned guernsey and jersey i got a sweetie tin as well this is about three pound fifty four pound from ebay and it's got a picture of oh, that's st peterport i think yeah because there's castle corner and there's herm and jetu in the background this has got an envelope in it and it's got cash in it and i'm saving up to go back to the channel islands and i'm doing it the old-fashioned way with an envelope and some cash and when, whenever i've um i've sold something on facebook marketplace or i've uh, saved some money i pop it in this tin so yeah, I did have some more money in there, but uh, I lent it to a friend, crazy. Um, but yeah, this is my little savings for my holiday tin and my holiday is for the destination on the front. So I thought that was really cute. And again, it's just a sweetie tin and it was made in the Channel Islands. I just I just thought that was really nice. And my mum has a matching one as well. So hers is more vintage and looks nicer than mine, but hers was a little bit more expensive. I think that's a nice thing to do, to save up for something that you really want. And it's for 2024 this trip so it's going to be for my 40th birthday and my mum's 60th birthday um we're going to go to Guernsey together and stay in our favorite hotel in our favorite room we're going to request our favorite room and we're going to go to Guernsey we're going to go to um Alderney no we're not going to go to Alderney we're going to go to Sark and we're going to go to Herm and we're going to buy each other a bracelet and it's going to be glorious and I'm really excited I know I shouldn't wish my life away but um being 40 is a big thing and having something to look forward to in my 40th year is an amazing thing. I'm waffling now. Um, other vintage stuff that I've bought. So I love to read and at the start of lockdown, crikey, it was that long ago, I bought a Kindle and I downloaded loads of um, free books on my Kindle and I made myself a little Kindle case, but I still like having physical books. Here's my little Kindle case I made myself. Um, Liberty print and it's my first attempt at quilting never done quilting before um I still like physical books and I'm really into Sherlock Holmes just not the BBC adaptation thing I, I really don't like that sorry not sorry <laughs> I watched it I tried it and I was like yeah I like this no I really don't like this I, I much prefer the Jeremy Brett Sherlock Holmes purist here okay um so I bought myself some Sherlock Holmes books. This is from 19, I think it's from 1957. Let me check when this one was published. Obviously it was published way before that, but this actual version of it. So when were you published? Uh, 1955. So I was two years out. This is a 1955 copy of Sherlock, well, the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. There are lots of different books and I really love the way that classic penguin books look. Uh, we're a bit of book collector. Well, I wouldn't say collector. We kind of hoard books, me and Nick. Old books just look so fit on the shelf. It just it just warms my heart. So having nice and beautiful things. It's William Morris that said, don't have things in your house. Are not, I'm going to butcher this quote. Don't have things in your house aren't practical or beautiful. So I think everything on our, in our house is either practical, beautiful or just, just quintessentially us. Um, speaking of beautiful things, I bought some jewellery. Don't get too excited. So I have this Aurora Borealis necklace, which is gorgeous. The camera is not going to do this justice. Again, like three pounds, ridiculous. It is gorgeous. 
it's got a beautiful clasp now the reason i wanted to buy this is because i actually have my grandmother's aurora borealis Bor try and say that aurora borealis neck crikey necklace and it's sentimental to the point where i will only wear it on a special occasion but i wanted to wear it but to work and i, I didn't want it to get ruined so i bought almost identical version this one is thinner my grandmother's one had much chunkier um it had chunkier ones in the middle and then it gets smaller and tapers the way up i wanted to wear it to work but not my grandmother's one because that wasn't something you wear to work that's something you wear to a, an event or something and i also have my other grandmother's earrings that match again not something that i would wear to work because if i lost them i would be devastated if i lost this i would try and i'd be annoyed but i'd replace it I've got some Aurora Borealis earrings as well, but they are in amber. Never seen them before. These look really naff on camera. They are absolutely stunning in real life. Actually, now my hair is this colour. They're not going to look as nice. Wow. Okay. So, jewellery. And other jewellery that I bought. To be fancy, I actually got a compliment. My manager at work, I've recently been promoted. My manager at work was like, your outfits are just really on point recently. It's the promotion, isn't it? And I was like, no, it's eBay. Right, so I have got this very, it's um, lost a lot of colour, it's um, it's not dirty, I've got, actually that's foundation that I got on there. Um, I'm saying um a lot because I just I really struggle to be on camera nowadays, it's just so alien to me. This beautiful set of pearl, well they're not pearls, they're fake pearls, and the person that sold them to me wrapped them completely beautifully, these were like 9 99 it's a double set of pearls and it actually has a clasp that matches the clasp on my aurora borealis necklace so it's a double set of pearls that i wear if i'm feeling fancy or i have a meeting that day um two other things i cannot wait for lockdown to finish and when it does i'm going to go and stay with my mum as soon as i'm able to um my mum and my stepdad have both had the vaccine my husband has had the his first vaccine I'm not eligible until like the summer holidays because I'm 36, 37 in a few days. I'm 36 and uh, I have no underlying health conditions really that warrant the vaccine. So I'm not going to get it. But when it's legally allowed and then when it's safely allowed, I'm going to go and visit my, my mum and dad. Um, I bought some stuff to travel with because I'm so excited about going travelling again because me and Nick do lots of travelling. Well, not recently. We do lots of travelling. So I got a travel watch. It's a clock travel clock it winds up it's an alarm clock it's in a leather case you just pop that in there like that this was broken when it arrived and i repaired it so i'm a bit of a tinkerer i fix things um it needed some screws put in the back and i transferred some screws from something else and now lo and behold it's a bit clunky but i can get it to work it's a bit like if you've seen back to the future it's a bit like biff tannen's car it's like nobody can get this baby to start but me well this watch this clock is a bit like Biff Tannen's car. It's a bit temperamental and you've got to baby it and you've got to know how to get it to work. It was working this morning. So what I'm going to get you to do, Mr. Clock, I'm going to wind you quite far up, give you a tap. Oh, there he goes. And you better hear it. And the alarm on it works. But it took me a while to get the alarm to work and I've set it for 6am so I'm not going to move it but believe me this alarm works it's really loud so yeah I'm just going to adjust the time on this guy really gently because I had to fix the adjuster the adjuster is what broke you must turn it in a specific way and it's 103 there we go now it's reading the right time and it's in the green case and green is my color green is my favorite color there you go mr clock you can sit up there the last thing that i bought i bought so much stuff didn't i crikey is a suitcase an overnight suitcase from the 1960s it is a samsonite 1960s travel case for a girl It's squeaky. I need to put some WD-40 on this. Oh, can we just? 
is that not gorgeous it is pristine inside it has got the the comb the mirror and the bristle brush it's also got the wet bag down here for the flannel i won't be using that myself but this is just absolutely ah spamming face ah it's absolutely gorgeous oh you get that one for free youtube oh right in the face um so those are the things is that an appropriate note to end the video now that i'm dazed and confused um those are the things that i bought during lockdown in fact that really wasn't an appropriate place to finish because i had three more things <laughs> oh dear at least it was my my bad eye like the one that i'm long-sighted in i didn't damage my good eye right um three more things okay i promise i'm waffling i'm rambling i managed to i have the patience of nobody so i wanted a fair isle jumper so i found this hand knitted fair isle jumper i think you've seen me wear this in a couple of videos for 11 pounds hand knitted proper wool it would cost me more than 11 pounds to buy the wool to make this jumper so it is the softest warmest it is the loveliest jumper um it just someone hand made this and didn't want it anymore and that just makes me so sad i was like i need that i'm gonna have that and love it and look after it it's got a few holes here and there i'm gonna darn them up but i have worn this and i've had so many compliments on it and the other two things are some grandma skirts i'm seriously into my grandma skirts at the minute so i've got this vintage check marks and spencers st michael brand 1980s skirt i have to wear a slip underneath this because it's quite thin um i've recently lost two and a bit stone and i'm now like a size 10 12. i had to get this in a vintage size 16 because in the early 80s a waist measurement of 28 inches which is a modern day 12 was a 16 and it's a little bit snug so i've got to wear it on my proper waist not on my hippie waist and then i've got this other like check skirt as well again all for like under a fiver from ebay and they look really smart with just a white shirt or uh, a little jumper for work and i'm a teacher and I, I do look like a primary school teacher but i'm a secondary school teacher um that is my hoard of stuff that i have purchased during lockdown obviously i've bought more like i've bought food and gardening stuff but this is just an example of a couple of things that i've bought um any questions about the the type of things you want to type into the old ebay to find these types of things then let me know sorry i spammed myself in the face during that that was so um <laughs> silly of me it's because i was looking in the camera and it gives you this weird sense of uh it's like when you're driving and you look in the in the um, rearview mirror you get this weird sense of, of space time directive like doctor who i guess anyway thank you so much for watching if you managed to watch it because i waffle like anything but hey ho take care look after yourselves Mwah. bye bye